Alright, time for segment number four of Aubrey's birthday special. And for this segment, survey says, time to play the Family Feud. With Hinkle helping me with the surveys, of course. Hi, bestie! So, here we go. Let's see if we can get the 20,000. I unfortunately can't skip this part, even though I wish I could. All set for some smooth grooves, it's the leaves! You two families are taking each other on to guess the answers we've got to our survey questions. Find the most popular answers to clear the board and take the rounds. Whoever scores the most points gets to play fast money, where you can win $20,000. Okay, folks, here we go. It's time to face the first question in the face-off. Of course, we know the drill for Family Feud. First team to 300 points wins the game and gets a chance at $20,000. Okay, top eight answers for this first round. Be sure to buzz in when you've got an answer to the survey question. If you're first to find the number one answer, you get to decide if your family will play or pass the round. We took a survey. 100 people. Name something a man might decorate his beard with at Christmas time. Something a man might decorate his beard with at Christmas time. Um, ornaments. All right, let's see if it's up there. Let's see if the board's got ornaments. It's there, but one answer can beat it. But it's not the best answer. Top answer is still up there. I think you've got it. Name something a man might decorate his beard with at Christmas time. Lights. That's a good one. Our survey said lights. Lights is there, but it's number four. All right, so we have the option to play or pass. Or are you gonna pass? All right, uh, I'll play. You want to play? Uh, maybe decorate it with. What do you think? With gifts. Okay, uh, maybe if I try his presents. No. Uh, toys, maybe? No. Uh, a wreath? No. Snow. There we go. Oh, okay. Let's see if it's there. Snow. It's there. Snow is there, but it's at the bottom of the survey. Yes. Got another answer? Something on the man's beard at Christmas time. Yeah. How about tinsel? That's a good one. Uh, yes. Let's see some tinsel. Number one answer. With only 19. Name something a man might decorate his beard with at Christmas time. Got it. Is it up there? Show me. Tree is not there. That's your first strike. You're done. Oops. We need another answer from you. Yep. 
Number two. Many a mouse. Okay. Do you have an answer for us? Well, okay. I'll follow that. All righty then. Do we have a right answer? Mouse. No. Hmm. Some men with beards look like they have what furry animal sitting 
sitting on their face. Interesting answer. Survey said, Fox. Ouch. Maybe a bear. This is a lie, but it's number six. For now. Oh. What answer do you have for us this time? Right. Maybe a raccoon? A rat or actually yeah, I'll try raccoon. That's what you're going with? Let's see if you're right. Raccoon. Alright, raccoon is there, it's number four. Now I'll try a rat. Oh, skunk! Well, I said a rat, but I think skunk might be more likely now that I think about it. Yeah, well, you can try if you want to. Yeah, I'll try that. It looks like skunk's not there. Is that answer up there? Rat! But rat is there. It's number five. Beaver, maybe. Beaver, yeah. You sure about that? Or an otter. Let's take a look. Beaver. Beaver's up there. Now we just need the number one answer. Nice. Just one answer to go. All right. Well, you said an otter. Otters are pretty furry. If this is up there, we if this is up there, then we get the points and it's not there. That's gonna do it for you. There's an opportunity to steal here. It only takes one right answer to steal those points. Some men with beards look like they have what furry animal sitting on their face. A slug? Um, I don't think so. Yeah, no. So we get the points. Alright, we got six out of the uh, seven. But what was that elusive number one? A squirrel! Here's how the scores are shaping up so far. Squirrel was number one. Yeah. Alright, but we're on the board. Scores 40 to 42. Uh, with the game this close, we're going to double the points. Time to go head to head. As uh, the great Richard Karn said. One person from each team. Come down and join me here at the front. Alright, top five. Ooh, things are heating up. Points are doubled now. We asked 100 people. Name something you can do to keep your teeth clean when you can't brush. Something you can do to keep your teeth clean when you can't brush. Maybe Flossum? Okay, man. Yeah, Flossum. Our survey said. Flossum. It's there, but two answers are better than that. Answer, but it's not at the top. What's your answer? Name something you could do to keep your teeth clean when you can't brush. White. 
That's what you think, huh? Time to check the board. What? It's there, but it's number five. But it can't be the other answer. You want the face on. So well, this is another tough one. I guess you want to keep that hot streak going, huh? Let's play this. I'm going to try maybe Gargle. Put on your thumbs, Captain. Call me for an answer. There's mouthwash. It's number two. Uh, okay. Rinse, maybe? No. Yeah. Just clean the teeth. Wash, All right, let's clean the teeth. No, I'm gonna wash this there. Maybe just clean the teeth. Clean. No, not there. It's not there, which means you get a strike. Time to search your mind for an answer. Can't think of anything else either. Yeah, this hit pass. This hit pass. Name something you can do to keep your teeth clean when you can't brush. Yeah, I, I honestly don't know. And that's three strikes. This round is getting thrown over to the other side. Now the other family only need to find one answer, and they can take this round. Is it there? If it is, you've scored a steal. If not, the points go straight over to the other side. Use finger. That's kind of gross. Let's see it. Yeah. Use finger. Yeah, I didn't think it would be there. Steal. All right, we have the lead. Alright, the two answers we that we didn't know. Number four was Apple. Um Okay. What was it? Chewing gum. Chewing gum. Before we start another let's find out. But Apple doesn't. Like, I would never have thought of that. Anyways, round four, which means we're gonna triple the points. Get your game faces on, because it's time for the face up. I'm gonna need one person from each family to join me right now. All right. Got four Top four answers. Now the points are worth triple. So okay. We took a survey of 100 people, asking them, name something people keep a bottle of on the nightstand. People keep a bottle of on the nightstand. Water. 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 That's good. Could it be up there? Let's find out. Water. Number one answer! Is the top answer. Oh, yes. pills! Pills, yeah, I was just about to say that next. Where is it? Are you ready? I need an answer from you. Yeah. Answer accepted. 
Our survey says. Yep, medication. That's number two. Yeah. All right, medicine. Not sure that's the same as medication or not, but I'll try. Actually, I think it is. All right. Okay, what about vitamins? Vitamins. All right. I didn't get to finish, but I think vitamins might be the same as medication anyway, so. All right, one strike. There's only two answers left. Bottle of juice. Dry soda. Oops. Name something people keep a bottle of on the nightstand. Feeling lucky? I want to see that answer. Soda. No. Ouch. All right. So here's the deal. Oh. Deal. They if they steal, they would take the leads, but we would have to go to sudden death. But if they don't steal, we win. One answer on the board, and they can steal around. Give me an answer, and if you're right, you get all the points. Give me a wrong one, and uh, well, you know. Makeup. Here we go then. What did our son say? Makeup. Not there. They couldn't do it. It's another win. Looks like we missed a few. All right, let's see what the, the other two answers were. Number four. It's time to reveal the fourth answer. Perfume. Okay, that makes sense. Lotion. Okay, let's see those final scores. We have a winner. All right, off we go to the fast money round to try to win twenty grand. Time to say so long to the lead. Now, give me the first round. Give me the number one answers. Fast money. All right. I'm going to ask you five questions. I need you to give me the most popular answers. You'll do it once. Then we'll come back around and do it again since you're all on your own. Get more than 200 points and you're taking home the jackpot. And here we go. All right. What are you sick of seeing posts of? On social media. Uh, politics. Name something you stick your hand into that would cause you to panic if it got stuck there. Uh, nose. Name something you hate, but you're stuck with it. Car? At the Pillsbury Doughboy's funeral, somebody might say he had the best... All right, at the Pillsbury Doughboy's funeral, somebody might say he had the best what? Best what? Taste? Taste? Yeah. Name something you might have strapped to you. Something you might have strapped to you. Oh yeah, for when you're uh, in the car. That's it. Let's get 
Alright. Time for the next go around. Time to step it up a gear. You're gonna answer them all again, but this time with different answers. Perfect question. Ready? Let's start. Alright, here we go. 75 seconds on the clock. What are you sick of seeing posts? What are you sick of seeing posts of on social media? Something you stick your hand into that would cause the panic if it got stuck there. Ear. Ear. Yeah. Name something you hate. But something you hate, but you're stuck with it. Chores. Chores. Okay. Pillsbury Doughboy's funeral. Somebody might say he had the best what? A uh, mustache? Uh laugh? Alright, laugh. Alright, uh laugh is my answer. Something you might have strapped to you. Uh backpack. Hey yo, backpacks. What are you sick of seeing posts of on social media? Uh, violence. Ah! Didn't get a chance to put the answer in, but I would have said violence. Okay, let's find out how you did. Alright, well, that second answer for the first one's obviously going to be a zero, but let's see how we did. First up, we asked, what are you sick of seeing posts of on social media? So here's what you said. We had a pass on this one. Oh, Alright, well we got 11 for politics. Food. Food was number one. I don't know, I actually kind of like seeing food posts. Stick your hand into that would cause you to panic if it got stuck there. Your answers were... That's two strong answers right there. Hey, one out of two. Um, Drain was number one. Okay, interesting. All right. All right, we got to step it up here. Question number three. Name something you hate, but you're stuck with it. Let's remind everyone what you said. Did anyone say those? Uh, no. The last two questions. You're really going to need to get some points on the board. What do you think the top answer was? Body. Body! Number four. Okay. At the Pillsbury Doughboy's funeral, somebody might say he had the best what? This is how you answer. What are they worth? We got one good answer. Oh. Uh, we're not even, we're not going to get the best dough. Oh, well, we're not even going to make it to 200. We wanted to know. Name something you might have strapped to you. These were your answers. And for the last time. It's not your No. Oh, dear. That was a terrible fast money round. You may not be taking home the big oh, oh, oh. still got a nice Yeah. Money. For two hundred ninety-five dollars, uh, and I think it's safe to say that was probably one of the worst fast money rounds I've ever had in any Family Feud game. Thanks a lot. A big shout out to the survey for deciding to be very difficult for us today. Well, yeah, it was. Well, that's the way it goes sometimes. We'll see you for the next segment. Bye -bye.